Hello and welcome to Edupedia World. It's now time that we learn how we can use Mocha AE to create a mask very easily. And by creating a mask easily, I don't mean just drawing a mask, I mean uh, rotoscoping a mask so that it follows an area, let's say this bottle. So what we will try and do is create a mask that follows the, this bottle. So let's I'll just trim it and uh, here we are. So I'll take off footage, click on animation and then track in Mocha AE. And uh, let's call it masking in Mocha AE. Hit OK. And here we are inside of Mocha and we are ready to cr start creating our shapes. So I will be creating two shapes. Um, and let's just draw the first one. So what I want to do is take this part where we can see the liquid, where you can see the glass. And then I want to mask those out just pretty roughly. And uh, then I want to add a color correction. So let's just draw a quick shape, something like this. It's not even supposed to be uh, precise. And um, then just let Mocha do the rest. So as you can see, Mocha will adapt the shape. And if it goes off like it's doing over here then I'll just move it back in and uh, every time I move this I actually create a keyframe so Mocha knows you have to be in this position at this time point so as you can see this little green dot represents a keyframe now I can just continue tracking and it's actually doing it again it's jumping off And there we go. We have now uh, tracked the top of this puddle. So let's continue and uh, track the bottom portion of the puddle. So first we want to just give this a name. So top, that should be enough. And then we want to untick this, uh, this uh, wheel here. Because when this is ticked, it means uh, that uh, Mocha will be tracking and uh, we don't want that. That's unnecessary and we have the track like we want it to be. As you can see it's following the top of this puddle. And if we had to do this by hand then it would have taken a lot of time. So we just saved ourselves some time. And uh, when you're doing this kind of work, time is money. So there we go. This is a decent shape and uh, give it a name bottom and as you can see the bottom part has the cogwheel attached or ticked that means it will be tracking and it is let's just highlight it I like that better camera is now moving over to the side so we can't see this uh, the left side of the bottle so I'm gonna have to move this in a bit so it doesn't go over the edge and there we go we've now created our two simple shapes because these these two shapes as you can see they're very simple very rough but for what we're going to be doing, they're going to be perfectly fine. So um, 
let's take a look at how we can export these and how we can use them in After Effects. So I'll just untake the cogwheel and uh, then I will go into the uh, export shape data because these are the shapes, the stuff we've drawn with these uh, splines. That's our shapes. So if we can line those up with whatever edge we want, then we can create a mask that just follows these. So we want to export the shape data, and when we have one uh, one option, we can export the selected layers, which means both. We can sub, sub, uh, export the visible layers, which also would mean both or all, all layers. So I'll just copy them to the clipboard and move back to After Effects. So. Um, we will be creating a uh, solid and uh, then we will just do control V and as you can see nothing happened um, if we go into the effects controls then you'll see um, uh, only one of them has been added maybe it wasn't uh, for some reason it didn't think this one was selected as well well, we'll just do that later. So as you can see, um, it has added this shape uh, effect. And if we turn the opacity up to 100%, then you'll see this uh, shape. So if you have set it to sh uh, shape cutout, then you'll have this, just this uh, shape around uh, the part of your bottle. And uh, for some reason, this is offset. I do not know why. It looks all right, right here. So, uh, yeah. If we um, take this shape layer, and let's say we want to create a new adjustment layer and add a curves adjustment to the adjustment layer, just hide the gray layer for a moment, then we can see we can really start uh, changing the colors around um, but right now the background and everything is all blown out but the bottle looks nice so we can actually take this uh, shape that we have right here and use that to cut out where this adjustment layer is going to uh, affect anything so we can take this adjustment layer and put it use a track mat and we want to use a an alpha mat that means everything that's alpha on this on this layer above will be alpha on this layer so there we go we can see that it's now only affecting the area uh, where this shape is and if we put it maybe say alpha inverted then it will do the opposite so we want alpha and then you can see we have this uh, sharp edge we can remove that by just adding a fast play to the shape and just cranking up just cranking up the blurriness and uh, as you can see we've now created nice like energy around uh, the top of the bottle if we go back into mocha and uh, select the bottom export uh, the shape export the, export the shape data uh, and copy it to the clipboard we can create a new uh, solid and uh, paste this effect onto the solid
for some reason these uh, these shapes are offset with the timing and uh, that has to do with the way Mocha and After Effects works together uh, we can start try copying at the start of the clip seeing if that works instead Maybe I wasn't on the first frame when I pasted. So let's just offset this until it fits. And it fits right there. So I'll just remove this, and then we have two uh, all right, um, two all right uh, masks. We can duplicate, sorry, duplicate this adjustment layer, and uh, hide this shape layer. And if we add the fast player to this, uh, this shape here in the bottom as well, then we will actually end up with a very nice result so um, just to make clear what has happened we have added this shininess to the bottle and as you can see this is a very nice way to show off the product in my opinion the, bo the bottle looks way nicer like this so normally when you use a mask you basically just select the layer and then start drawing a shape to cut out or if we just invert it like this yeah to just cut a hole and um, you can do that as well with um, these shapes we have right here so if we just take uh, this shape and duplicate it and uh, put it above the footage and also remove the fast blur then this is our shape and um, I'll just hide the adjustment layers. Then we can use that as well to um, cut a hole. So it's done the same way with a uh, track mat. So I'll set this to alpha mat, invert it, and that way we can cut a hole using this shape. We can also set it to alpha mat and then we'll only get this part. And uh, if you wanted to, you could use this for whatever you want. It's just um, just a lot of possibilities. Um, I wanted to just add this uh, glow to the bottle. And speaking of glow, we could actually add the glow effect. As you can see, now it's actually glowing. I'll lower the threshold, increase the radius, and decrease the intensity, like this. And now our bottle is really shining, so that is about it for how you can uh, Use Mocha to create shapes. Thank you for watching Edupedia World. Stay tuned for more videos.